Yeah, incredible stories all around, Mark. Take a listen. Traveling the southbound lane, um, and I saw the train going south on the bridge, and it fell off of the bridge and just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. I told my daughter, I said, is that a train up ahead? And Because it just did not look right. And then uh, um, I pulled the car over the side of the road, and I told myself I need to go and and see what I could do to help. I scaled the, the semi and went onto the down rail car where I saw originally my first sight was there was a, a female and um, she was stri struggling to get her mother who had fallen. Um, she was kind of on the very end of this rail car. So we got people over the seats and around the aisles and out the door and when we moved further up we noticed that there was a woman that was wedged underneath the seat, and her name was Miss Bennett uh, Barrett. Her and her husband were there, and they weren't going to depart each other's sides. It was very important that they were together. They were communicating. All we could see was her hip and a broken leg. And at that point, there were about three of us there, and we lifted the seat up, and we talked to Miss Barrett, and we pulled her out inch by inch until we could get her to sit up. And then she took a breath and she says, I'm going to be okay. Many of us, most of us have been deployed and we have experienced mass, massive casualty um, scenarios. And so this is something that we rehearse for. And this is something that many of us have actually experienced in combat. And so I think it helped us um, and we were very ready for this scenario. We turned on the TV down there eventually so we could see the news on one of our tracking boards and you could see the trains coming off and the different directions and I was I was actually surprised that personally that we didn't have a lot more serious type stuff and the stuff we had was very serious but um, I, I thought there'd be more. It was nothing short of a, a miracle by God honestly is how I feel and so especially looking at the images of it, it, I, it I was expecting way worse. Real life heroes, all of them. We are live at JBLM. I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.